What's up, Gather Fam? How you doing today? Today, I'm just gonna show y'all around in my backyard, let y'all know how things going with my poultry. That's including, of course, my chickens and turkeys, if y'all didn't know. Um, and then I'm gonna show you around what's in my garden, what I have this year, and what I'm prepping for the future from when my baby is born. So, just getting things together, but I just wanna show y'all what I've been up to. First thing first, I want to update on y'all on the chickens that I have. I did get rid of some, uh, but right now I still have my, <laughs> they like to play and chase each other. My bantams, as you can see, they're still small and just, they just, they stay that size and they're good for brooding, which is the chickens do when they're nursing. And I'll show you what that looks like. Cause I have a chicken brooding right now. Also, these are the, this is a rooster. No. The rooster back there in the back. I can probably get another up close look, but let me see. Yep, that's the rooster. And as you can see, uh, they stay that side. They get bigger than the uh, bantams. So I'm gonna use the bantams for, that one just poop, for meat. I'm gonna have like little Cornish hens, if that's what you wanna call them, but they're not gonna be called, they're not Cornish hen. And I do have one hen in here, so I'm gonna keep that. The bantams are hens, but I'm not gonna keep them because um, right now it's my firstborn child, so I wanna make sure I have uh, all the time I can give to my wife. And we have these little crybabies over here from last year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, they just normally roam around, eat the grass and stuff. So these are my egg layers, my natural egg layers, which is pretty cool, I'm glad. Uh, that they still here with me. One did pass, um, but that's okay. That's a whole nother story. Uh, this is where I keep the little dust bath. And this is what, this is what they mean when they ready to mate. They poke their tail out and get ready and then they shake themselves. You see, they want to mate. That means they want to get the eggs fertilized. But I give them their little dust bath. They be in this little flower pot right here and just give themselves a nice little clean dust bath. All right, this one right here is brooding. So what that means is she just sitting here until the eggs hatch, but I have no fertilized eggs, so no eggs will hatch. And they were just sitting here, but I can't get her to stop brooding unless I separate her and take her out and let her walk around. So she basically get out and eat and do what she needs to do. So it's probably like a couple eggs under her and I have two right here and I have another one laying the egg. Um, this is where they all go. I'm gonna call this, I call this area the little mess hall because this is where they make the mess. And they just, they just enjoy their life. Now I ha installed a chicken door for where they can go in and out. Uh, so this is how they do it because usually I just keep uh, this door open, but now they use their chicken door. So it closes when it gets dark and it opens like when it gets light out in the morning so it is light sensitive it has a sensor on there which is pretty cool i think and so they enjoy it as well don't you exactly so as i make my way to the turkeys i want to show you right now what i have in my little garden over here yes it look kind of horrible but this is all the plants and stuff that's growing in here i do have a watermelon watermelons are growing these are what we call sugar babies so the sugar babies is what I have growing around. And the way how you can tell when they ready, this little tendril right here will turn completely brown, which is pretty cool. And I have some corn, as you can see the hairs, the ears coming out. And when you shake this pollen fall off, I don't wanna shake too much cause I wanna make sure it, it, it touched the hairs. Uh, I got some over here, some more corn. So I gotta get ready to uh, pollinate my corn and I have more watermelon down here which is pretty awesome this variety oh, I do got some cucumbers as well I got to cut those off this variety is a yellow a yellow uh watermelon so it tastes like they say it tastes like honey but we'll see and I make sure they stay out because they like to pick with the watermelons before they're ready more corn I got some hybrid melons over here. Let me zoom in.
Yep, so those are hybrid melons. I got some, what is this called? Uh, butternut squash. Those ain't ready yet, but they, they should be soon. Which is pretty awesome. Some down there, so there's a whole bunch on that one. I gotta make sure, cause they like to sneak, to stay out. Uh, some more watermelons. I got the beans growing. Some more beans, as you can see. Which is pretty awesome. They like to climb, so these this variety is called pole beans. And I think I have some more cucumbers right here. I just like to let them climb up the trellis. I have some more pole beans, which is pretty cool. They're climbing up, and now they're starting to flower, which is awesome. I have zucchini. You can see the zucchini growing. So I had to hand, hand pollinate some of these. This right here is honeydew, and this one is too. So these are my honeydew plants. This is another hybrid melon. I got one somewhere right here. So it's, it's starting to get their shape, coloring. Which is pretty awesome. This one didn't make it. So it's easy to fall off. When I see something like that, I throw it to the chickens and they go after it. Uh, I got some, these supposed to be bush beans. So they're starting to grow out a lot, which is okay. It's not that bad. Got some asparagus, some didn't really make it this year. So I ain't really gonna pay attention with that. This right here is, that was a Japanese beetle. I feed those to my chickens because they will tear up your leaves. And I also have eggplant. My eggplant turning out real great. I think I got another one going. Yep, it's down there. As you can see, down there. And I also have noticed that these things produce thorns, so we gotta be careful when we grow. Um. I do have my spaghetti squash on this side. It's only produced me, gave me one so far, which is pretty cool, so I'm okay with it. Uh, it needs a great watering. I do keep a net system, this thing right here, so my turkeys or chickens won't get at it. But that's what's in here so far. We can show you, I can show you what's in the green little tent in there. So this is my corn right here. When you shake it, you can see the pollen fall off again. See it, which is pretty cool. So the hairs I showed you earlier, that's that's what the pollen need to fall on for it to produce a full ear of corn. Each string of hair needs to be pollinated so all the corn can produce properly. Uh, I have some more squash right here. I think this is yellow squash. Yellow squash right here and zucchini right here. And the same thing over here. So that is a female plant because uh, it has the fruit on there versus the male flower when it's just a flower. And I use for my pickles all my deal right here and another eggplant back there. Let me see if I can find it. Right there. So I just have to give these a good watering. My potatoes. This is a potato as well. And now we can go inside the greenhouse and after the greenhouse, we can see the turkeys. So here inside the greenhouse, it is a little, it's hot in here, but this is where I keep the most plants that, that I want to have protected, which are my cherry tomatoes. These are the sun gold cherry tomatoes. These are not your regular cherry tomatoes. Um, I have okra, got some producing right there. Some about the flower and produce some right there. And that's what it look like when it's flowering. And I also have some strawberries. Look at that little grasshopper. Let's see if I can zoom in on it right there. And I have a bell pepper plant. It didn't really produce me anything, it's just growing. So I, I kind of made a cutting on there that I shouldn't have, which is okay. Um, coming through this greenhouse, it's very important that you do this because it'd be huge spider webs. And I feel like spider webs are worse than spiders. Uh, these are my tropical plants, which is my lemon trees and orange trees. And who knew that they produce thorns? That's crazy, right? See them thorns? Um, now I have like some onions growing in here. They are supposed to start flowering. So that's what it look like when it flowers. But other than that, 
this was great. We got some onions coming in, sweet potatoes. Uh, my whole uh, tomatoes are taking over and that's not good. I didn't do no trimming over it, but I'm glad I did that so no animals really can get the main part of my sweet potatoes. Here's another climbing variety of beans, but these are called asparagus beans because they get real long, as you can see, and I believe they get longer than this. So what I do is just let it climb up. So I made this little contraction here uh, and I got them growing in five gallon buckets and you will see the beans just start growing. And we can have that. And my wife loved these so much. This is very awesome. Uh, yeah, let's go to the turkeys. And here we are. This is a messy area because it has no covering, but it only has a covering in the back. But as you can see, I tried to put wood chucks right here. Uh, I gave them some watermelon earlier, but I tried to put wood chucks right here and it just keep flooding. I was like, oh my goodness, whatever. Y'all gonna have to do what y'all gotta do. And I tried to put a uh, pot in here for them to get their dust bath. They muddy feet get on there. And I'm like, oh my goodness, whatever. But my turkeys, they're growing. They're healthy. They're looking good. They get curious. They like to bite fingers. I don't know why. Uh, but they are on their way to be processed sometime this, this either, th either this month, most likely it's gonna be next month. But I'm, I'm just saying, they're ready to be processed, basically. And I'm getting my tools and instruments and machines together for them to be processed. So it's best that we have to treat them with care. But these turkeys used to be this big, this big. Now look at them. Look at them. They just growing. Uh, so these are industrial turkeys. What I mean is, not industrial, I'm sorry, commercial to raise turkeys. So they usually, ship these out in like supermarkets versus these uh, turkeys right here. They just grow and get bigger. So these are broad-breasted blacks and these are broad-breasted whites. So these are what people really love about these turkeys because they big and meatier versus the heritage breeds. The heritage breeds is what you have commonly running around in your neighborhood basically. These are genetically to grow faster and bigger. So, but they look good, look tasty. Hey everybody, so I am in my backyard where I have started a new garden project where I'm putting a new garden bed of flowers before my arbor by the trees right here. So we're gonna take a look back at what I have done thus far. And today what I'm gonna be doing is adding landscape fabric down um, so that I can put soil, flowers, and mulch. But let's take a quick look back at what I've done thus far. Okay, now that we've taken a look at what I've done thus far, let me just update you, show you what it's looking like. Um, Amazon just delivered the landscape fabric and the stakes that I'm going to use to stake it down. So we'll open that together and then we'll get started. So let's just take a look at where we are right now. So this is the area, as you saw in the previous clip, I added this border here. All of this grass here is what I'm going to be covering with the landscape fabric. It's going to be too much to try to pull this up and I don't want to rent a sod cutter to pull this up. But here is the border all the way and it curves right here. So. Let's go take a look and open up the landscape fabric and the stakes, and then we'll get started laying this down. Hey. 
Hey everybody. So I am in my backyard. I am transforming um, the area of grass in front of my arbor body trees into a flower bed. So I'm out here redoing part of what I started because what I'm going to show you in just a second, I have grass in this area and instead of removing the grass, I'm just going to put landscape fabric down and cover it. It's a really thick landscape fabric that will kill the grass, but the grass was pretty high when I did it. So I undid what I had done and I'm going to cut the grass really, really low and maybe even weed whack it and then re-put the landscape fabric down. And when I started this project, I ran out of landscape fabric. And so the rest of that hopefully should be delivered today and I can finish the project. But let me show you what I have so far. So this is the area here. And I pulled up all the landscape fabric and I'm gonna go ahead and cut this grass really, really low and re-put the landscape fabric down so let's get started Okay, so I just got done cutting the grass and weed whacking it. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Um, so it's much, the grass is much lower, almost to the ground, which is where it needs to be. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place the landscape fabric on top of that. So it's much lower all the way to the ground now. And I went ahead and weed whacked all along the barrier here so that I don't get grass on the landscape fabric when I put it down. So let's go ahead and get what I have thus far of the landscape fabric down. And when Amazon delivers the rest, I'll finish that out. I also wanted to show you, these are the pins that I'm gonna be putting in and it has this circle disc. So when you put it on top of the landscape fabric, it secures it better so that it stays down. So just kind of wanted to show you what I'm using to secure the landscape fabric down. Let's continue. Okay, so I have finished putting the landscape fabric back down uh, from where I left off before, because again, I had to take everything up and redo it, because I should have cut the grass in the beginning and chopped it down as low as possible, and I did not do that. So now let's look at where we are with the landscape fabric. So this is what we have so far. It's much flatter than what it was before because there was a lot of grass under there. So when I get the rest of the landscape fabric, I'll pick it back up here and then go all the way back to where the tree line is. Then I have mulch that I need to fill in back here. I'm going to put soil here, put the flowers in. And then I'm going to probably have to go pick up more mulch and then fill this area in here. So once I get the rest of the landscape fabric down, I'll pick it back up showing you, I'm um, showing you all me putting in the mulch and soil and flowers. And then we'll see what the end project looks like. Okay. So it's about five o'clock. Amazon just delivered the rest of the landscape. Uh, fabric so I'm going to get started laying the rest of this then adding the mulch soil and plant so I have my um, back brace on just so I can make sure I'm not hurting myself so let's get started Thank you. 
Okay, everybody, I am tired. It's about like probably 8 15 p.m. right now, so um, the sun's gonna start going down. I think sunset is about 8 43, so I'm gonna just stop for tonight and um, I'll show you what I've done thus far. I'm gonna try to get up early in the morning. Today is Saturday, so uh, we're not having discipleship training on tomorrow. So I'm gonna get up early, hopefully on Sunday, and try to finish this or get some more done. My family's gonna be over tomorrow, so I kinda wanna have this done so that they can see what I have done, the updates. But I wanna stop and start to clean up before it gets dark. So let me show you what I've done thus far. I've gotten all the flowers in that auger y'all saved me because i didn't know what i was going to do i was going to try to put the flowers on top of the landscape fabric and then i quickly saw that wasn't going to work so this is where i am i'm going to stop again for tonight i have all my bags of soil and pine bark nuggets like mulch that i'll be filling in and that's all I need to do um, when I come back is put the soil and the mulch and I'll be done and the landscape lights in. So I'm going to sign off for tonight and you'll see me on the next day. Bye. All right, everybody. So it is the next day, Sunday, and I'm going to complete this project today. Overnight, I really thought about what I wanted to do as far as the soil and the mulch. I really don't need to put all those bags of soil down in the flower bed because all that's going to do is make room for weeds to grow on top of the landscape fabric. So what I'm going to do is pile dirt around the plant and then just fill the whole thing with mulch. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So I already started these two. I'm just gonna put soil around the plant like that and then fill the whole bed with mulch instead of soil. So here's the other plants that are not done yet. I should only need like one or two bags. Unfortunately, I dragged all these heavy bags of soil back here yesterday thinking I was being smart and getting ahead of myself so that I don't have to do it this morning. And overnight, the Lord was just like, you don't even need to put all that soil in there. So what I'm gonna do is take all the soil back to my driveway to put it in my car because I am definitely gonna get my money back and return that to Lowe's. So I'm gonna take a break, um, load up all this soil, put it by my car so I can load that up. And then once I'm done planting all of this, I'll go return that. And also, I might not even need all these bags of mulch. So, and I still have like three other bags of mulch um, on my driveway. So if I don't need all these bags of mulch, I'm gonna also save some money. So mm -hmm, I'll be returning those too. So let me go ahead and load everything up and then I am going to um, start putting the soil around the plants and then I'll see how many bags I need. I'll probably leave like three bags back here, but I'm gonna go ahead and move all the other bags to my car so that I can return those. So um, once I come back to start putting the soil around the plant, I'll show you that and then put the mulch in and then put the landscape lights in 
and we'll be done. So um, be back in a moment. done with planting all of the flowers and making this flower bed I think this is the last project major project I needed to do um, for this spring summer season so let's take a look at what we have I went ahead mulched everything and the flowers just need to grow in and bloom so let's take a look so this is what we have here It looks really, really good. I went ahead and put the landscape lights in. And that was the main reason too why I decided to create this flower bed because the lights needed to be out about this far to shine on the trees. And um, I didn't want it in the grass where I had to keep moving it when I cut. So I figured I might as well just make this whole area a flower bed and that'll resolve that issue. So let's walk. Take a look, I'll stand back. So you can see what it looks like from a distance. So I still have a ton of grass. This was the other project that I did earlier. Putting this in, when this grows in, those will all be firelight hydrangeas and they'll be nice and big and cover that whole area. And then we'll have flowers and trees back here. So let's get a little closer. Yeah, I got these um, solar lights from Amazon. They work as if they were electric lights. If you had an electrician install lighting where they plug in, they work really, really well. So that is it for this particular vlog. I hope you like it. Um, depending on when this vlog posts, if the flowers grow in more and bloom more, so it gives more representation, I'll get another clip and make sure that that's added. But for now, until next time, see ya. Bye. Bye.